Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an issue when you're trying to install Windows onto a disk and it says that the selected disk has an MBR partition table. So, assuming you guys already have a Windows 10 disk or a USB flash drive already made, this tutorial is going to be pretty straightforward, hopefully, because I'm not going to have to explain to you guys how to download Windows 10 because you should already have everything you need in the disk itself. So basically you get an issue where you're selecting where you want to install Windows that you get a Windows setup pop-up that says Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The selected disk has an MBR partition table. On EFI systems, Windows can only be installed to GPT disk. So we're going to go over how to resolve this in today's video. And the first thing we're going to do is get to the boot menu and we're going to select our DVD drive. If you're using a USB flash drive, it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to get back into our Windows installation media. If you already have it open, that's a great start. So we're going to select CD and I'm going to press any key to boot from my DVD here. Okay, so for Windows setup, just insert the language, time and currency, and keyboard or input method. All this should be pretty constant and similar to whatever you guys were using before. Select Next, and now you want to left click on the Install Now button right here. Now on your keyboard, you want to hold down the Shift in the F10 key at the same time. So the F10 key should be one of the function keys near the top of your keyboard. So hold down the Shift and the F10 key at the same time here. This will open up a command line window. Now, very simple, we're going to type in disk part. So D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, all one word, so disk part. Then you want to hit enter. Should say Microsoft disk part version, whatever, doesn't really matter. So now that we're in the disk part utility, what we're going to do now is type in list. So L-I-S-T space disk D-I-S-K. Now it's important that I just tell you guys, like I know some people spell disk with a C and not a K, depending on where you are in the world and what kind of English you use. At least in my case, on every computer I've ever worked on, it's disk with a K. So list disk. And once you're done doing that, you want to hit enter. So once you've done that, you want to enter in select another space disk again with a K zero and the zero should be the number zero don't spell out zero like Z E R O and you want to just select the disk you want to install Windows on here and for most people it should be one drive listed in here and it probably would be disk zero you can see by how much size is on the hard drive here so if it's whatever the size of the hard drive you want to install Windows on this is the one you want to select and I figure if you're savvy enough to get to this point, you should know which disk is going to be your hard drive just by looking at it. So once we're done typing that in, I'm going to hit enter. So now it should say disk zero is the selected disk or whichever disk in your case you were going to use. It doesn't really matter. So now at this point, you're going to type in clean. So C-L-E-A-N. Then you're going to hit enter. This will take a moment. It should say disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. And now what we're going to do is type in convert, so C-O-N-V-E-R-T, so convert, space, G-P-T. So you can do uppercase, that's what I'm showing in this video. So convert G-P-T, G-P-T, I don't think I said B, G-P-T. And then once you're done doing that, you want to hit enter here. Should say disk part successfully converted the selected disk to a G-P-T format which is exactly where we want to be. And now at this point, just type exit and, and type exit again. 
Now at this point, if you had a product key, you'd enter it here. If you don't have a product key, just select I don't have a product key. Select the operating system from the list. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. And from here, you should be fine. I'm just going to get you guys to the part where the, you want to install Windows on. So accept the end user license agreement. And let's say we wanted to upgrade. It doesn't really matter. Or You know what? I guess we can't upgrade. Custom install. We see we have our drive right here. We're going to select this drive zero. Select next. And there you go, guys. There's really nothing else to show in this video. We were able to install it to this disk, or at least we're beginning the process without getting this issue. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.